Good morning, everybody. Mark Penny here with Shelly Payne, the director of the Lama Tame Center for Infectious Diseases. Uh, and this morning, we're talking about flesh eating amoebas. This specific one we're talking about, Vibrio. Uh, I, like, <laughs> I know I have, the names can get quite confusing. They can, yeah, I'll, I'll let you take over. So, we have sort of two different groups of organisms that we've been interested in because of changes in climate and their effects on human populations. So among the amoebae, there are organisms like Meglaria, which is a rare infection, but when it's acquired, the organisms can gain access to the brain and cause death. And that amoeba is found in uh, particularly stagnant waters, but it likes warm temperatures. So you'll find it in ponds, uh, where again the water is stagnant but it warms up quickly with Texas summer temperatures. Climate change, uh, yes. that's that's warming waters all over the entire world. Uh, is that something that is causing this particular um, amoeba to spread into areas that uh, normally wouldn't see it? It's been noticed over the last decade that there's a correlation between increased temperature and increased numbers of infections with those organisms. The, the data all are, are pretty consistent with the increased temperature increasing the numbers of those bacteria and, and amoebae. Well, I think people shouldn't be overly alarmed, uh, but you, you do need to have some care uh, with you know, children splashing around and getting the, the water into their, their nose, their mouth, those kinds of, of activities are going to put you at higher risk.